Van Aert will go top of the leaderboard ahead of Filippo Ganna. He's not far away. On to stage four of the Dauphiné and the individual time trial, which is pretty lengthy for a week-long stage race. 32 kilometers between Montbrison and the Bâti de Urfe. It's pretty flat and it's not overly technical, so this is one for the big engines. One of the early finishers, Matthias Norsgaard, shared his thoughts on the course and the likely stage winner. It's all about trying to not go too hard in the, in the beginning because you have three hard days in the legs. So it's probably a uh, effort around the, the threshold, uh, not more. Uh, and then in the end it's just all out. So close your eyes and just ride. And how about your chain ring, Matthias? Oh, 56, uh, 10. Uh, but uh, sometimes I was in, in, the, in, the, in the biggest gear, so probably you should go higher. And your favorite for today? Uh, Ghana. Well, Luke Durbridge set the early benchmark for Bike Exchange Jayco, the Australian who has won his national TT title four times, crossing the line in 36 minutes and 25 seconds. Durbridge hitting an average speed of over 52 kilometers an hour, but his time in the hot seat was short-lived. World champion Ganna blasting his way into the lead, putting 53 seconds into Durbridge. The Italian hitting an average of 53.8 kilometers an hour as he clocked 35.32. The plane is around the 53, but uh, in the end, uh, the weather uh, is going more better than normal. For lucky, we have a mid uh, dry tarmac and a uh, dry day. Today morning, when you see it raining, I think uh, it's a bad day, but uh, for lucky, we are safe. And now we wait uh, the last ride across the line to see the final result. Well, it took a while for anybody to threaten Ghana's time, although his teammate Ethan Hayter got within 17 seconds, a great effort from the British time trial champion. But it was disappointment for French specialist Remy Cavagna as he came in almost two minutes down. I'm lacking a bit of power at the moment and I just need to keep working hard. It hasn't been easy this year, but I will get there, hopefully soon. It was then over to the GC favourites, with Jonas Vingegaard, the first of the Jumbo Visma trio, to hit the course. The dam was a minute and 12 seconds down on Filippo Ganna, last year's Tour de France runner-up, looking on form a few weeks before this year's Grand Depart in Copenhagen. Theo Gagenhart and Damiano Caruso also made it into the top 10 on the day, while Mattia Cataneo finished within 40 seconds of his compatriot Ganna. Would Primoz Roglic or Wout Van Aert be able to overhaul the world champion? Well, the Belgian made a storming start. He was 11 seconds up at the first checkpoint. Roglic, the reigning Olympic champion, was also in the mix after the first 10 kilometers, just seven seconds down on Ghana. However, the Slovenian faded over the second part of the course and ended up 42 seconds off the pace. He was beaten by Hayter and Catanio. Only Van Aert could now deny Ghana victory. Wow, Van Aert closing in then on David Gordou. 18 seconds he's got to get to the finish line and beat Filippo Ganna. Wout Van Aert looking to try and win this Dauphiné time trial. 150 metres to go round this final turn. This is the time of Wout Van Aert. Filippo Ganna is going to win the time trial by just over two seconds. Filippo Ganna living up to his bidding as the best time trialist in the world, even if Wout Van Aert came agonisingly close to snatching the win. That's four wins out of five for the Italian this season in time trials or prologues and the 20th of his career. The 25-year-old will surely now be eyeing up the yellow jersey at the Tour de France, although he was coy about whether he will be selected by Ineos. Long day, but uh, in the end it's important. Uh don't stand up to do this uh, seat and uh, in the end uh, both is arrive really close but uh, for lucky I win and uh, yeah we we'll see now in the next day for uh, support the team. Uh, the way for Copenhagen uh, is close but uh, we have uh, more time in, uh, we wait and uh, we will see if uh, I'm in Copenhagen or not. Ghana winning by just two seconds from Van Aert, followed by Hayter, Catanio and Roglic. Juan Ayuso just sneaking into the top ten. And of course, Wout Van Aert remains the overall race leader. Uh, I like to win, but I have to accept it and I'm uh, happy with my performance. Yeah, really pleased with, with how everything goes and uh, 
yeah, so far uh, it's been a really good uh, Dauphiné for me. Um, I have this nice jersey and uh, try to enjoy it the next couple of days. The Belgian champion is now 53 seconds clear of Catania overall, followed by his teammates Roglic and Vingegaard. Three Jumbo Visma riders inside the top four, O'Connor, Kelderman, Godu and Mass are all at least two minutes off the pace. Van Aert continues to dominate the points classification. His lowest result this week was sixth place on stage two. There were no King of the Mountains points on offer today, so Pierre Alon continues in the polka dot jersey. Ethan Hater, meanwhile, recovers the white jersey as the best young rider on a good day for the Ineos Grenadiers. Well, tomorrow's fifth stage is a bumpy outing between tizy le and Chantry with four categorised climbs. The GC riders should be taking a back seat before we hit the mountains proper this weekend. So join us again on Thursday and thanks for watching.